I was exec producer uh, and create, uh, co-creator on Hinterland, a Gwyll, uh, a, a detective series shot in Wales. Uh, we did three series and we shot it back to back. So we did a Welsh version and an English version. What we were doing was trying to, um, uh, to, to make the small big, you know, that it was, a, it was a regional drama with hopefully universal appeal. So the budget uh, mirrored what the creative um, uh, creative uh, heart what, or heart of the program was, and also we wanted it to sit in the Welsh language and the English language in the centre of Europe and uh, distributed further afield. All in all, we couldn't have got over the line without um, uh, support from Creative Europe. With the budget was uh, made up in the same way that we put a, a film deal together. Um, so we had regional. Uh, we had investment from S4C, which is about 40%. S4C is the Welsh language channel. Uh, but the tariffs are considerably less than they would be in England. Um, and then BBC Wales' tariffs are equally low, uh, and they're not at network tariffs. Um, so if you factor all that in together, we need an investment from distributor, and we were still had a considerable shortfall. So the, uh, the shortfall um, was filled happily by uh, Creative Europe, but the vital thing was that it was non-recoupable. All the other partners could only come in, uh, distribution and any other um, uh, financial partners, if, if there was a chance of a return. We are really pleased with the, um, with the spread of the, uh, of the distribution, uh, all through media with the international distributors. Um, so they made deals pretty much with all major European countries. Um, and also Netflix came in uh, with a sale over three series, which is great. So um, all the territories um, have been covered. So we estimate between 80 and 100 countries all in all, um, which was, was a big thrill for us. Being given um, support from Creative Europe has given us confidence really to, to think that however local your story is, it can have universal reach. It's made our work visible in a way that it wasn't before. So it's fine playing to your local um, audience, but it's even better to, 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 uh, to export those stories, that sense of place to um, internationally. So without, uh, so Creative Europe has, has uh, enabled us to do that and it's given us the chutzpah really uh, uh, to think that we're not alone. From a particularly uh, a, a, a Welsh language perspective, um, you know, Europe is 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 a natural home. Europe is a uh, place of um, of numerous languages, in which minority language is the norm. So we have to, out of the ruins of um, of Brexit, try and maintain links. I know colleagues across the arts are maintaining links in Europe, but one hopes that we can find a similar machinery because um, we can't really expect um, the British state to, to necessarily fund where Europe used to fund before. We may be very lucky, but I doubt it. Funding is going to be incredibly difficult. We're desperate to keep um, uh, channels open and prepared to speak to any, um, any broadcasters and distributors within within Europe and, and collectively we all hope that the machinery will exist in some form and um, anything we can do to um, to maintain those channels or look for new um, synergies uh, we greatly welcome.